Hillary Clinton has locked down the ugly women vote. That's according to Ed Rendell, a surrogate for her campaign. During an interview this week, the former Pennsylvania governor talked about Donald Trump's appeal to suburban voters in PA. Will Trump have some appeal to working class Dems in Levittown or Bristol? Sure. For every one, he'll lose one and a half to Republican women. Trump's comments like, you can't be a 10 if you're flat chested, that'll come back to haunt him. There are probably more ugly women in America than attractive women. People take that stuff personally. Uh, Joe, look. Mm. He doesn't like the uglies. What's the matter with that? Ed Rendell, shout out to the ladies <laughs> from Ed Rendell. I think he just wrote an ad for Trump where Trump's going to be able to say only the best looking people vote for me. Yes. If he's implying that those. It just goes to show you the Democrats think of the voters. He's referring to the blue collar voters. And not only are you working class, you're ugly too. So take that. That's it. I mean, he's, he's playing right into Trump's. Uh, you know, persona, isn't he? Mad, make America uh, attractive again. <laughs> <laughs> it is Pennsylvania, so I mean, this is only so high that ceiling is going to go. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, but uh, can we stop pretending we don't know exactly what he was talking about? What he was saying, and it is terribly inartful, <laughs> purely Ed Rendell, Chris Matthews Jr. type of way. What he was saying is that Donald Trump, the way that he talks about women, uh, uh, sort of uh, fetishizing their looks and this kind of stuff, is going to piss off women who aren't knockout East Block babes. And it's a plausible kind of thing. So he's saying that, uh, you know, if you're not super hot, you're going to get pissed off. That makes sense, even if you kind of disagree with the way that he said it. I we see. all know that that makes a kind of sense. He just shouldn't have said it that way. Oh, so we are, you are explaining it now. Okay, so you're telling me that we're treating Ed Rendell the way that all you sophisticated types have been treating Trump all this time? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam, why didn't he put a number on it? Why didn't he say there are more fives in this country than sixes? Yeah. Well, the logic doesn't even make sense. Like, I get that that point is true. But that would mean that somebody would have to admit that they were one of the ugly ones. And I think that most people would not admit yeah. that I'm not a 10 like this. The, now all the fives that think they're nines are going to vote for Trump. And even more so now, I think. Yeah. That's it, Joanne. You think that's it? People, oh, yeah. It's aspirational? I definitely agree with that. But also, I mean, I never go to a voting booth and I say, I'm feeling really ugly today, <laughs> that might affect my vote. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to think that his comments, you know, would have some bearing, but there's a lot more to voting for a person than just, you know, a flippant comment that they make. The thing about Rendell is, he is an Eagles fan, it explains everything. It wow. That's why he talks like that. And for <laughs> you kind Eagles fans out there, I apologize. But okay. I've met many who are you not. Think they're unpleasant. Yep. <laughs> just the Eagles, or is it just uh, the There's Philadelphia in general? There's something about the Eagles. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. They okay. Boot, so they boot Santa. <laughs> oh, that, that one. Famous for they they don't boot. like you to bring that up, even though that happened Sorry. a long time ago. History is spoken. They, they boo you when you remind them that they <laughs> booed Santa. Uh, but okay, we've parsed Rendell's statement. Mm -hmm. What about Trump's statement? Can a flat-chested woman be a temp? Um, I, I would assume that two flat-chested women can be a 10. I'm not sure if that's common <laughs> core man. Wait a minute. Look, wow. I, think, I think we're missing the, the more important thing here is that you have the ugly that's voters. No. No, no, You're, I think. Probably not. Look, the, the prettiest, I, I wonder, yeah. I mean, uh, some of our top fashion models, they're, they're kind of... Uh, they're, they're, but that's an unrealistic body type, and I think you've just done some body shaming there. You've been hoist on your own petard, what? you scrawny <laughs> son of a bitch. Wait. I think the problem is the ugly voters are the only voting block who don't know that they're in that voting block. Yes. No one goes to the polls thinking, who, who stands up for the ugly people? Yeah. And what about ugly men? Are, are ugly men going to vote Democrat too, or is it just the ugly women? Is Pennsylvania full of anything except ugly men, including its former governors? You have really... <laughs> what? You've gone after Ed Pennsylvania. Well, what the, Ed Rendell, he's a good-looking guy. 